What a series for the Miami yeah. Marlins. To get the Braves, listen, you knew the first game coming off the off day, those guys were going to be <laughs> not, not in the lineup, right? Not grinding mentally. You give them one, but then for them to back it up with two more unbelievable victories, Miami swinging a bat, they got Solaire back in the lineup. Yeah. He goes deep yesterday. We, remember we had him in? Remember he spent yeah. the day with us? Mm -hmm. So we've been waiting for him to get on fire. He's been dinged up most of the season. He's putting up crazy numbers. Right man, right time. Does things a lot of people on the field can't do. So I want to dive into Jazz Chisholm. Lucas, stay with me. We got about three sound fulls here. Ooh. Couple boards. Uh -oh. Max Wildstein on it. Eric Nays nowhere to be found in Amsterdam. <laughs> And we're going to dive in. He has been on fire for this team recently, okay? And no one's got a better home run trot, trot in the game. He's got the Euro step. He comes around first base and throws the jump shot. Pause this. So when we had him at the skybox, I wanted to hear what Jazz is thinking at the plate approach-wise. Take a listen. I'm a person from OO. I'm looking for spin. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, I'm going to look for spin, but I'm going to time up a fastball. But tell the kids at home, like, you're uber talented to be able to do that. You got right. quick lightning hands. You right. know you can handle a heater. Derek Jeter thought the complete opposite. He, yeah. he never came off Trust the fastball. Me, I've talked to Derek, and he was like, you don't look fastball down the middle every time? And I'm like, how do you do that? I didn't do that. I hunted I pitches. I'd step out and be like, 2-1, second and oh, third, I wind blowing in. I'm just in there like, oh, oh. If you spin it, I'm swinging. Like, if you spin it in the yep. middle, I'm going to destroy it. <laughs> I mean, that, that is the stuff I miss. Being in the cage with those guys, talking shop about an approach that doesn't make any sense to me. Who would sit spin in a game of high velocity, right? Yeah. But for Jazz Chisholm, it works. Different mindsets. Derek Jeter, like he said, never came off heater, middle, middle. How many of those are you truly getting throughout the course of a game, throughout the course of a season? but for him it worked. Chipper Jones taught me how to watch video, how guys fall into patterns, who's hitting behind you. Basically a math equation, every pitch as to why they would do something. Maybe you're playing dice, you're playing blackjack, and you gotta guess right. For him, he's sit and spin knowing he's got the heater calibrated at all times. And if you give it to him, spin, watch where this ball lands left on left. I mean, it's not like Jazz is six foot five, 270 pounds. Run that back. He's on go. He knows Lance Lynn, unless he elevates, really can't beat him with a fastball. So 92, he's getting to as long as he doesn't cheat. Oh, oh, sit and spin maybe? I don't know, but he kills this. Run it. He's got a gorgeous swing. Oh, grand slam the other day. Pablo, can you bring up the board on pitches, homers per pitches? I showed us before we get into the sound. Fewest plate appearances <laughs> per home run since the start of 2022. Would you put him on there? You got Kyle Schwarber, obviously. Pete Alonzo, who's 40 and 100 again. Matt Olson, who set the Braves record. Solaire kills at his teammate on down the line. Mookie's just another world. And then you got Jazz Chisholm. So we shared a minor league hitting coach. My minor league hitting coach coming up with the Braves was Franklin Ticket Stubbs, first baseman for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And Jazz had him in the minors too. And I asked him, did Franklin unlock anything for you? Take a listen to this. I had to learn it in the minor leagues. Who was the hitting coach that unlocked you? Anybody? Franklin Stubbs. Did he tell you to sing a song? OK. Did he, is that what he did? A love oh, song. Ask Yachty. He was my hitting coach in the minors. <laughs> Ask Yachty. Were you with the Dodgers? I was with the Braves. Oh. He came over for a couple mm. years. He just did d -row. Grab like a Whitney Houston song <clears throat> and start singing a love song. Ask Yachty. Song. My walk-up song, I don't stop singing it until I hit the ball. Huh. And that is 100% true. He told us that in the minor leagues. And when the house was coming down in Wrigley Field and 60,000 people are going nuts and you can't hear yourself think, you just sing yourself a love song to try and create rhythm and timing and slow the heart rate down. And he obviously does the same thing. He's got some history. We're going to get into a Charlie Morton sound here in a second. I'm going to take you back to April 14, 2021. Little Charlie Morton backdoor cutter. Breaking ball. He's got one of the best breaking balls in the entire game. Heater up. 
and then he gets a cutter middle of the plate mm. and goes dead center. There's numbers against Charlie Morton. He has, he's hit him well in his career. Nine for 25, which is a 360 batting average with three home runs and the grand slam yesterday. Talk about being on spin from go. You can tell he is in the zone, ready to jump from pitch one. And he's interesting, man. He can mm. lead off for you. He can hit in the middle of the order. He can kind of hide in a lineup. So I want to throw back to the last piece of sound leading into his approach against Charlie Morton and the respect he has for him before we get into this AB. Listen to this. Uncle Charlie, right? They're like, OK, you got the best Pause pitcher it. in baseball already, DeGrom, for your first homer, right? And I was like, we're about to face Charlie Morton, who's curveball heavy, right? Yeah. And I was like, bro, if he throws me this cutter one time, I'm going to take it. <laughs> I'm going to take him. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, the stories like that. He would set up good for you if you sit and spin. But that's the crazy part. His curveball is the nastiest curveball ever. Like, if you've faced it, it's, like, out there to the yeah. back leg. You know what I mean? But I was like, bro, the, his, not, his best pitch is his curveball. His worst off-speed pitch is his cutter. So I was like, bro, if he dis disrespects me with, with throwing a cutter, I'm going to take it. For a ride, and then he threw it. Charlie, middle. he disrespected Jazz. I mean, it's not his best pitch. Run it. Mm. All right, so you go up there with an approach, right? But we go back to the first part of the sound. He said his cutter's his worst pitch, his curveball's his best pitch, and I am on spin from pitch one, but I'm also calibrated for the heater. Yesterday comes up in a big spot. Base is loaded. Charlie Morton. Fate, been in the box against him 30 times. 1-0. There it is, heater 96, no cheat, dead center. Pretty impressive skill set, I'm telling you. Guys, wiry, strong, wants the moment. Miami's interesting. Yeah. Bro flow. Said it from the beginning. Yeah. Deep in oneself plus talent. Skip Schumacher's got the tat Delighted. sleeve. They, they've had, they had 22,000 there uh, yesterday uh, for, the, for the win against the Braves, which is great. Marlin fans, I know there's, there's a lot of history here but get out there support this team they are a fun fun watch and they're playing some meaningful baseball great stuff Dero. awesome